At Tokamak Energy recently, we've been constructing our new Tokamak, the ST40. So it's a really exciting time for us as we see it all come together. ST40 has been a huge team effort, from the calculations and designs in the early stages, to the discussions with suppliers so they can build new parts to our exact specifications, then organising the finances and managing a complex project, all the way to the assembly of all these different pieces to make the final tokamak. And of course, there's been lots of testing throughout, from individual components to whole systems. Currently we have the inner vacuum vessel assembled and we've run glow discharge plasmas inside it. These glow discharges clean the inner walls of the tokamak and they remove impurities that might contaminate our experimental plasmas later. Next we will test our merging compression coils which are right inside the inner vacuum vessel. Merging compression is a technique where two rings of plasma are created around the merging compression coils and these then collide and merge. This merging releases huge amounts of energy, which heats the plasma in a tiny fraction of a second. Using this technique, this year we're aiming to reach plasma temperatures of 15 million degrees. That's hotter than the center of the sun. But for fusion, we need it even hotter. Next year, 2018, we're aiming for 100 million degrees in ST40. That's getting up to fusion temperatures. This will be a really important achievement because if we can attain fusion temperatures in a small tokamak like ST40, it opens up the route to fusion power in compact tokamaks. We then have further plans for ST40, pushing towards the conditions needed for fusion energy gain. Small tokamaks mean cheaper and faster development. As we develop and test the ST40, we'll be learning about controlling the plasma, keeping it at a higher temperature and pressure for longer in this compact, squashed up shape. At the same time as working on ST40, we're developing high temperature superconductor technology to make more powerful magnets. The latest generation of high temperature superconductors have exceptional properties that we're learning to utilize. And because high temperature superconductors operate at more attainable temperatures, they require much less energy for cooling. It's a real game changer for fusion energy, enabling rapid progress in compact tokamaks. In the future, we plan to generate electricity from fusion by combining these improved magnets with our knowledge of plasma control in the more efficient, compact shape. This will provide a clean, safe energy solution for everyone.